Hello dear learners, welcome again. In this video, I am going to discuss MCQ practice questions based on chapter 4 of your semester 1 banking finance syllabus. This is part 4 uh, and the last video uh, from your semester 1 syllabus. First three videos I have already posted. Uh, if you have not watched it, you can watch it uh, by visiting the channel. Channel link is given here or you will find the link in the description box or in the I button. So let us move on to the topics. These are the topics you know, which are covered in this chapter demand drop bankers check and electronic funds transfer mechanism. What are the different modes that we will be discussing. So without wasting much time, let us move on to the first question. The first question is which one of the following statements about demand draft is not correct. DD is a type of check, a DD is payable on demand, DD is negotiable instrument, a bank fails to honor the DD and the bank is liable for it. The incorrect you know, statement is DD is a type of check. It is not a type of check. So is the correct answer here. Moving to the next, a stop payment request can be done in the case of which of which of the following instrument, uh, demand draft, check, money order, NAFT. In case of check, you can make a stop payment request by visiting the bank or even uh, through internet banking facility. If you have, you can uh, do so. So B is the correct answer here. A validity period of demand draft is 6 months, 12 months, 8 months, 3 months. The validity of DD is 3 months like checks as well checks for checks also three months validity is there for demand draft as well so d is the correct answer who is primarily liable on a check drawer collection banker paying banker everybody who touches the check so correct answer is drawer the money must be there the particular amount of money which is written on the check must be there and that is the liability of drawer who is writing the check so a is the correct answer moving to the next Mostly demand drafts are issued in situation where parties are dashed to each other and lack trust. Known parties, unknown parties, relatives, clients. So mostly this demand draft is issued in case of unknown parties. Okay, B is the correct answer. Checks can dash but drafts assure a safe and dash payment. Bounce on time, not bounce delayed, bounce delayed not bounce on time so correct answer is checks can bounce but drafts assure a safe and on time payment so here this a is the correct answer here in this case what is the full form of eft in banking electric funds transfer electronic funds transmission electronic funds transfer electric funds transmission correct answer of this EFT is electronic funds transfer. C is the correct answer. What is the full form of RTGS? Real-time grant settlement, real-time gross settlement, real trend gross settlement, real-time gross scenario. Correct full form of RTGS is real-time gross settlement. Real-time gross settlement. Okay. So B is the correct answer. What is the full form of NEFT? A. National Electronic Funds Transfer, Net Electronic Funds Transfer, Net Electric Funds Transfer, National Electronic Funds Transmission. So correct full form of NEFT is the first one, National Electronic Funds Transfer. A. What SWIFT stands for? What is the full form of SWIFT? A. Settlement for Worldwide Interbank Financial Transfer, Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Transfer, Society for Web Interbank Financial Telecommunication, Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. So correct full form is the last one that is D. Okay. What IMPS stands for? What is the full form of IMPS? Intermediate payment service, immediate payment service, imminent payment service, immediate payment settlement. So correct, correct full form is immediate payment service that is B is the correct answer. 
what is the minimum amount of stipulation for RTGS transaction? That means how much money you can send through uh, RTGS minimum amount 50,000, 1 lakh, 2 lakh, no limit. Minimum transaction that should be rupees 2 lakh under RTGS transactions. Okay, usually this RTGS transactions uh, or transfer is used for larger amount of money. That's why this minimum is kept at uh, 2 lakh. Moving to the next, what is the maximum amount of stipulation for RTGS transaction? 10 lakh, 50 lakh, 5 crore, no limit. For RTGS transaction, maximum amount, there is no limit. So, D U is the correct answer. You can uh, send through RTGS as much money as you want. Okay, D is the correct answer. What is the maximum time allowed to the beneficiary bank to credit the beneficiary's account after receiving the funds transfer message in RTGS? Actually, this RTGS is a real time settlement, but the maximum time given to the beneficiary bank after getting the message is uh, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. It is 30 minutes. B is the correct answer. Half an hour time is given, maximum time is given to the beneficiary bank. IMPS is managed by RBI, NPCI, SBI and NPCI, SEBI. Correct answer is this IMPS immediate payment service is managed by an umbrella organization uh, in an initiative of RBI that is NPCI, National Payment Corporation of India. Okay, B is the correct answer here. National Payment Corporation of India, NPCI. The IMPS facility is provided by NPCI through uh, uh, its existing DASH network, CTS network, UPI network, NFS network, NEFT network. So, IMPS facility is provided by NPCI through NFS network, that is National Financial Switch. Okay, NFS, National Financial Switch. C is the correct answer. What MMID stands for? What is the full form of MID? Uh, movable money identification number, mobile money information number, mobile money identity number, mobile money identification number. So, correct answer is uh, this full form of MMID is mo mobile money identification number. MMID is a dash code. How many digits are there in MMID code? 9 digit, 11 digit, 7 digit, 5 digits. So, the correct answer you might have seen uh, is 7 digit. There are 7 digit in MMI code whenever you do IMPS transaction. Okay. Moving to the next. What is the minimum transaction amount under IMPS? Rupees 10, rupees 50, rupees 100, no limit. There is no limit. You can start with 1 rupee. Okay. There is no minimum transaction limit. So, D is the correct answer. Instant money transfer under IMPS is available on how many days in a week? So, this IMPS transaction you can do 4 days in a week, 5 days, 6 days, 7 days. This is you can do IMPS transaction all days including holidays. So, D is the correct answer. 7, all 7 days you can do. Okay. D is the correct answer. Where is the headquarters of SWIFT? That is Society for the Worldwide Inter Bank Financial Telecommunication, New York, USA, Zurich, Switzerland, Brussels, Belgium, Paris, France. So, correct answer is Brussels, Belgium. Which out of the following is most popular channel of foreign inward remittances to India through SWIFT, rupee drawing ar arrangement, direct transfer, checks and Draft. So, correct answer is Rupee Drawing Arrangement, RDA. Almost 75% of uh, transaction or remittances to India is done through this channel, Rupee Drawing Arrangement. The second highest is SWIFT and third is direct and the last one is checks and draft. So, here correct answer is B, RDA. Which of the following is true regarding SWIFT? It is a, a Secure financial messaging career. It was founded in 
1973 by group of 239 banks from 15 countries it is a cooperative utility for promotion and development of standardized global interactivity for financial transaction all of the above so this regarding swift all these statements are correct okay so d is the correct answer moving to the next which one of the following is not true regarding RTGS that is real-time gross settlement it is a safe and secure system for funds transfer correct the beneficiary need not visit a bank branch for depositing the paper instrument this is also correct the transaction has no legal backing this is incorrect answer actually remitter can initiate the remittances from his her home place work using internet banking if his or her bank offers such service so the incorrect a statement here regarding RTGS is transaction has no legal backing. Actually, this is, there is a legal backing, but here the statement is has no legal backing. So C is the correct answer that of this question. NEFT is an electronic funds transfer system that operates on a DAS basis, which uh, settles transaction in batches, domain net settlement defined net settlement deferred net settlement declared net settlement correct answer is deferred net settlement basis which settles transaction in batches in case of neft okay deferred net settlement basis okay in nft maximum amount per transaction is limited to 50000 75000 1 lakh 2 lakh so this is for the cash uh, uh, transactions uh, in case of India within India and Nepal this is 50,000 the maximum amount per transaction is allowed okay A is the correct answer what is the charge of inward transactions at destination bank branch in case of any FT rupee 1 rupee 2 rupee 1.5 no charge for inward transactions there is no charge so D is the correct answer. NFT operates in hourly batches and there are DAS settlements from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekdays. Okay, so there are four settlements, six settlements, eight settlement, 12 settlements. Actually, on weekdays, there are 12 settlements from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Whereas on Saturdays, okay, uh, there, there are six. Uh, settlement from 8 to 1 p.m. Okay, but here the correct answer is D 12 settlements The first four alpha characters in 11 digit IFSC code represents Bank name branch name place name state name. So first four characters alpha characters uh, denotes bank name in the IFSC 11 digit code. Okay, A is the correct answer what is the NAFT charge for transactions up to 10,000 not exceeding 2.5 including service charge not exceeding 5 rupees not exceeding 15 rupees not exceeding 20 rupees so up to 10,000 it is uh, it should not exceed 2 rupees 2.5 2 plus service charges so A is the correct answer here up to 10,000 what is the NFT charge for transactions above 10,000 to 1 lakh not exceeding 2.5 not exceeding 5 rupees plus service charge not exceeding 15 service charge not exceeding 20 rupees service charge so here in case of 10,000 to 1 lakh it is rupees 5 not more than 5 rupees plus service charge okay moving to the next what is the NFT charge for transactions above 1 lakh up to 2 lakh so here correct answer is not exceeding 15 rupees plus service charge in for this amount of money transaction through NEFT. So C is the correct answer. Okay. So these are the question dear students. All the best. Do well in your examination. Please do subscribe and press the bell icon for more such value added videos. Thanks. Thanks a lot.